So, Amanda, I think you've got my favourite bat here. Yes, Brown long ears. that's right, yes. These are ones often caught by cats because of their low-flying, hovering habits. And they'll hover and take insects and spiders off leaves. Wonderful little characters. And how long would a brown long eared live for? 14, 15 years. I've had this one about five years, but the record for um, a, a small bat is actually 42 years. That's amazing, isn't it? Yes. Right, so I would call this year quite a bad year for babies. Uh, last year I had 55, and I've already got over 40 this year, uh, which I will need to rehabilitate. So these are soprano pipistrelles, and they're about four weeks old. So these are our smallest bats, and they're nearly full size, nearly adult. But they're, they're sweet little things, they're lovely to rear. They are tiny, aren't they? So will we be able to fly it at this age? Uh, it should be able to, yes. They're certainly stretching and exercising their wings. Mm. So this is a serotine, joint largest with the noctule. So a slightly shaggier coat. Yes, a lot longer mm. fur. Um, more docile in a way. The serotines and the noctules eat large moths and beetles and the smaller bats eat small micromoths and mosquitoes. They need to be in an area where there's abundant food and the insect life seems to be on the decline at the moment which is contributing to the decline of the bats. So a fact I often tell people when we're doing bat walks is the fact that a pipistrelle can eat up to 3,000 mosquitoes in one night. That's correct, yes. Which is quite amazing. It's it a is. natural pesticide. But flying is quite high energy, so they do need to eat a lot. So this is one of my long-term residents. This is a noctule. It's one of our biggest bats in Sussex, in fact, in the country. And he was caught by a cat, lost one of his fingers, so he can't fly. The time at dusk is the most risky for the bats when they're getting out. So if your cat regularly catches bats, keep it in at dusk. So just by keeping your cat in before dusk? Yes, for about an really hour help. before and after dusk gives the, gives the bats a chance to get away yeah. as he's trying to get away. He's very lively, isn't he? <laughs> it's a very warm day and he wants to go. Thank you very much, Amanda, for showing us all the bats. It's been absolutely amazing. So the Sussex Wildlife Trust are a conservation organisation. They don't act as a rescue centre. So if someone found an injured bat, they should contact you at the Sussex Bat Group. Yes, is that right? right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I've really enjoyed seeing these fascinating creatures, and I hope you are inspired to find out a bit more about our bats living here in Sussex. If you'd like to find out more about bats, you can visit our wildlife advice section on our website. <laughs>